hello. I think that's better. Good evening. Um, so, interesting title tonight. Reflections on my yoga instructor. Well, at least the one I had today. But first of all, I'll start with a quick funny story. Today was the day we had no water in our house. It was planned. We had notice. So that was okay. It was under control. And I thought I would sit here. I had something I needed to, well, I wanted to watch on, I was going to say my TV, but my Mac. And then I was going off to yoga. And I was debating whether to go to yoga or whether to go to gym. And I thought I'd watch my thing. And then I'd decide which one I wanted to do before I went and saw clients. And as I was sitting there cogitating and trying to watch my webinar, the internet went off. So we had no water and no internet. So I took that as being a sign <laughs> that I was to get my butt down and make my yoga class. And I walked out the front and there's a, someone, a, a, um, a certified someone, fiddling with the internet connection. And I said, oh, what are you doing? He's like, oh, we're just checking the connection. I said, well, okay, well, that's probably why my internet's not working. So it would have been nice if he could have told me. But there you go. That's okay. I went down to yoga. Um, I have a bit of a love-hate thing with yoga. <laughs> and it's interesting because the biggest... The biggest hate thing, and hate's a strong word, so I'm saying, you know, love-hate because sometimes I think it's great and sometimes I question it. But just like I question any instructors, however, I find this problem I seem to come across a bit more in yoga instructors. I wonder if you can guess what the issue is. <laughs> the issue is they don't like... To modify what they're asking you to do. So I think there was about 12 of us in the class. So not a huge class. It was quite small. There might have even been less than 12. And there were some people who had obviously knew what they were doing. They were younger and thinner, fitter probably. Then there were a couple near me who had even less idea than I did. So I've done a little bit of yoga in the past. But they'd done less than what I had. And it was quite obvious and when I notice it it's bad because I'm not very good and then there were a mix of other people some of them were following and some of them weren't following and the instructor was very good at giving advanced poses so you can do this or you can do this this and this that's advanced but for those of us still lying on the mat <laughs> there wasn't much in the if you can't do this do this instead. Yeah. And it got me thinking about therapy. And, but, and after I saw my clients today, it got me thinking about how much we frequently tailor. Now, I know it's one-on-one, -on -one, so it's a little bit different. Um, but, you know, it's taking on board where the client's at and meeting them there. So what one client needs... Another client needs something totally different. And as professionals, you know, we pride ourselves on that. And it's really, it's a bit disheartening when you're in a class and the instructor kind of just throws all that out the window. Yeah. And the difference when you're in a class and they notice that you're struggling and they go, oh, just try this or do this or give this a go. It just makes you feel so, so seen, so um, just seen, not even appreciated, but just you're not invisible. Whereas other classes, you just you're invisible. So it makes such a difference to see someone. So even if you can't meet them exactly where they're at in a group class, you can do those little things so the person is is seen. And understood as being an individual which is what we do so much in therapy so that's my little bit of reflection that's why it's a reflection 
I sit there in class and figure out what's going on. You know, anytime I'm a consumer of a health product, you know, going to the doctors, going to the dentist, you know, doing any sort of activity like that, always relate it back to, okay, what's good about this? What do I appreciate? Um, what can I take on board? And makes me <laughs> respect and understand what we do as mental health professionals so so much more so much of the time and uh, that's all i wanted to share with you be very interested to hear your opinion maybe you've got a fantastic yoga teacher that you would love to share or you might have a horror story who knows whatever has happened to you i'd be interested in hearing it so until tomorrow have a good night and i will catch you tomorrow Okay, so Kim Dunn from Positive Young Minds, in case you missed that. Okay, bye.